Hi, I'm Chris, zenl one cvd and this is a short video about the second cat, cat port adapter for the Yaesu FT-857 and FT-897 transceivers. Here we'll see the second cat in operation. This is an FT-897 and connected to the rear cat port is an LDG antenna tuner. The second cat port on this rig and the 857 is where the microphone plugs in. And this is where we plug in our second cat. As you can see, it's supplied with a short cable that goes into the microphone port, then through to the adapter. From the adapter, we have our microphone. And then on the other side of the adapter, we have our second cat port. In this instance, we're running a cat display from it. So on this transceiver, as I change frequency, the cat display updates. Or I can tune. So we have two cat devices running off the one transceiver, and they're both independent. They both can be doing thing, different things at different times. To activate the second cat port, we need to go into the transceiver menus and adjust some settings. So we'll look at those over here. Menu 19 sets the board rate for both cat ports. They are both the same board rate. Menu 20 sets the rear cat port functionality, whether it's going to be cat, linear or tuner. And this is independent from the front cat port. Menu 59 sets that, and it sets it for microphone only, or microphone and second cat. So you, we would set menu 59 to say cat, and it also enables the microphone. But you could have, in other instances, menu 20 for tuner, menu 20 for linear, and so on. Or you can have two cat ports, a very versatile rig. But a couple of things you should note about the microphone cat port. We'll go back over here and have a look. When we have the microphone cat port enabled, the f a couple of things you should note is the buttons on the microphone will no now no longer work. And in fact, if you press them while something is using the cat port, you will interfere with it. That is because the signals for these buttons are now converted to cat port. Also, this jack is a cat port jack only, and it does not have power on it. That means it's not a linear jack like the rear cat port and can't be used as a linear jack like the rear cat port or a tuner jack. It is just a cat jack. So in the case where we're needing to use it with our cat display, the cat display requires power, but this cat port does not have power. So what we're doing is we're powering the cat display from an external power supply. The switch on the cat display is switched down to the power jack side and the cat display works from 7 to 30 volts DC. Now whilst it does go up to 30 volts DC, the linear regulator inside will just is only a 5 volt regulator so it's going to turn that excess voltage into heat. So your cat display is going to get quite warm. I suggest uh, 13.8 volts is fine, and that's how you should be powering it. Anyway, we can see that the second cat adds a lot of functionality to the 857 and 897 transceivers. And you can pick up your second cat on eBay just by searching for second cat. Thank you.